Hello, welcome to Three Thought Talk. Hello. How are we all doing? My chair randomly just sunk. That was so strange. I feel like I just dropped like two inches. All right. You got shorter and Much we shorter. got taller. Yeah. Welcome Look, I'm coming into Three your Thought neck. Talk, everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm We're so muted shit. as I do that. I'm in your neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that would be, wait, wait, drop down like a little bit, just like, like a little bit. Okay. I can't do this mirror. Oh, are we doing that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're my doing head is your neck. Let, let's no. do this then. Wait, what is happening? It's more there awkward when you do it. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. How's that? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, actually. It was, good. It was, was very good. creepy, especially when I was uh... confused. <laughs> you were confused. I was confused. Hey, everybody, how we doing? Welcome to the chaos that is threefold talk. Um, welcome also to Kelly. So Kelly! Hi, Kelly! <laughs> Why don't we have Ruth Mistress Slayer tell us who Kelly is? Um. Well. She's like one of the coolest, most badass people in the entire world. And but she has this amazing older sister that like everybody that actually like is like, you know, whatever. So that's the most important also thing. Also the about most badass in the entire world. It's her like cool older sister. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this is my um, younger sister, Kelly, and uh, she is also a Wheel of Time fan. Uh, not quite as much into the scene as we are, but uh, we invited her on today because last year was her first Jordan Con. Uh, yeah. First nerf convention ever, right, Kel? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. wow. A lot of firsts. Yeah. You are very And bright. so we decided <laughs> last year to invite her on prior to this year's Jordan Con to help give advice to folks. Uh, who may be a first time Jordan con goer, a first time con goer, uh, cause we're all kind of experienced at this, this point. So <laughs> see yeah. if the advice that we, that I gave her beforehand was actually useful. <laughs> cause that'd basically yeah. mostly be the same advice I would give you guys. <laughs> so yeah. So we're, we're going to have some fun and get to know Kelly. Obviously Kelly has to do fear the spear now. So we're gonna Yay, do that. Yay! Aren't you so excited? It's such a fun game. <laughs> I was told there was no getting out of it. <laughs> yeah, sadly not. It is a requirement of all guests. We've even had famous guests on, and they still have to do Fear the Spear. We could have Rosamund Pike on, and we'd be like, "So before we can ask you anything about anything, <laughs> you have to do Fear the Spear. It's are a you, requirement." Are you implying that Kelly is not famous? Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's certainly humble. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
But not not to worry you, but Dash still has PTSD from uh, when he did Fear the Spear. So. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Dash, Dash did Dash. so good, though. Aww. Yeah, Dash, Dash did great, yeah. So, I think um, he's just trying to scare Kelly. He <laughs> is. This is very true. So, <laughs> All right, but before we do that, Kel, don't worry. We're going to do a bit of news. So um, unless unless there's anything else we want to throw in before we kick off with the news? No. No? Mm -hmm. No? All right, let's uh, make sure I hit the right button and we'll do the news. Sphere brothers and sisters. It is time to cover up your face. For the wheel of time has news. And we shall dance the spears with it. This is the Daily Veil. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. The, the, is that a that a hedgehog with sunglasses? Um, I'm gonna go with it's yes. a pos Oh yeah, I think it's a hedgehog. Uh, yeah, Look a hedgehog. What we have here. Oh, oh my god, oh. that looks like a um. Uh, what is that creature? Um, oh, it's not a hedgehog? That looks like the one that's from New Zealand. I forget the name of it now. Oh, um, an echidna. It's an echidna. An, yes. Yes, it looks like that because of the, the, the snout thing. But it could be a hedgehog. It's very I cute. I think it's an echidna. It's very... I love it. So, uh, yes. Fun side note about the Daily Dale music. Apparently someone uses it as their podcast intro that Dana Lou Who listens to. And she posted that she was like half listening, had it queued up, and was half listening to the podcast, and then it came in and she was like, what? Fear the Spear? Us Daily Bear? Like, was very confused. So. <laughs> I feel like that's very Wheel of Timey, though, right? Because yes. there's all the songs and all the different parts of the world, and everybody knows mm -hmm. them as something different. So this it was is cool very that true. she ran across a familiar it's Wheel of Time song. Just another turning of the wheel. Yeah. Mirror World. This is so, so true. All right. So we're going to kick it off first, folks. Um, Randall Thor needs your help, everybody. Uh, he has made it to the semifinals of the March Madness bracket for Winter is Coming. Uh, so he is currently... Who is he currently against? Let's see. Can we zoom in? At this um, currently against Cowley. Crowley. Mm -hmm. Cowley, Crowley, sorry. Crowley from... Cowley. Is that from... Um, Good, Omens. Good Omens, yes. Good Omens. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to get your votes in, folks. Where, where are we up to? Uh, not doing well. Yeah, that's not so good. The then. winter is coming bracket does not have a no actors uh, stipulation, so <laughs> it's very hard when you go up against David Tennant. I think. Yeah, I, I mean it is David Tennant. Yeah. Uh, we were running behind in the previous bracket, so we did manage to pull it back in the previous round for this bracket, but it was very close. It was mm -hmm. obviously closer than this was, but there are still two days of this, so. You know, the last bracket, last uh, round, I think, got like 10,000 votes, um, something like that. So there's still plenty to go for. In fact, I'm going to scroll down, see if I can find it now. Um, yeah, a lot of people yeah. posting about good omens. So, uh, but folks, if you can get there, uh, we need you. They, it was, sorry, 5,700 5, votes. Uh, and Rand won 51.5 to 48.5. So it got very, very close. So against Darth uh, Vader, which is yeah. kind of impressive. Mm -hmm. So we, we, as much as I'm a Star Wars fan, I got to vote for my Rand ahead of time. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> Dash has made a good comment. We'll bring this back up, but um, we'll, we'll let me start that for later. I think um, if you look in the comment section, Mel and Lay, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it. I yeah. See it. And uh, thank you, Jess. I uh, hope for some kissy sound thank effects you. from Mel today for Fear the Spear. Miss all you thought. Oh, we love you. They will be uh, live or generally. I, I have the kissy noises ready. Uh, and if, if necessary, we would do live ones. Uh, and what is the other piece of news that we've got? Lay, you have this queued up, don't you? I do. I can share that. So, right. um, yeah, it helps if I scroll to the top as opposed to the bottom. So we had <laughs> an article from What Series This Week that is entitled What We Know About Season 3 of Wheel of the Time. Wheel of Time. Wow. Wheel of the Time. 
<laughs> Word are hard, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, as we previously announced, the season's wrapped. So, um, they talk about what they think the story is going to possibly be. So, um, so they talk about. So, it's basically a culmination a lot of a lot of the information that we already have. Um, I don't know how much we want to go through the article. Mel, you actually said you read this. I haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it um, so Gigiari does what Gigiari does best, organizes all the rumors and information that we know about uh, season three thus far into one article, which makes it all easier for all of our lives. Not that we hate going back through every single article on that <laughs> series. We don't hate that at all because they're all amazing, but it is very nice when they put these compilations together. So she listed out the directors and the cinematographers. Uh, she listed out... Um, some of the other crew that came. She listed out episode titles that we um, know and where Watt Series thinks they're gonna be. They confirmed that it's gonna be eight episodes again, just like season one and two. And um, and then the writers, of course, for um, all of the episodes are already known and paired up. We get, um, we get some favorites to come back. I'm really excited to see what Rami Park throws at us again, right? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Because um, I think the writing for her episode in season two was insane. Um, yeah. yeah, they go through all of the filming locations that are known, that they know of, and what was probably filmed in those places, and then um, go back through the cast list of who they know is returning, who they know is coming back from season one, and the new cast that they've um, unearthed in all of their sleuthy awesomeness. So it's it's a really great article. Um, in case you haven't been obsessively keeping up with Wheel of Time news, Kelly, for the last, um, you know, lifespan. <laughs> the last time we talked, Kelly, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's just like came. this one thing and it's got all the information in yeah. one article. So. Yeah, Leia is point. my main source. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's so, a valid source, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could have Leia read the article to you, or if you want, you could read it yourself. If no. You read, I, no judgment. <laughs> uh, I I really, you talked about the writers for this. Um, I love that, like, they've mixed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, Rafe is writing the fourth episode. Uh, Justine Jewel Gilmer is writing episodes three, sorry, well, one and eight. Dave Hill, um, or another executive producer, is writing 300, uh, 307. Catherine B. McKenna is writing 302. Rami Park is doing 306, and she's also executive story editor. And Beverly Okayo, o Okayo I've, I'm, not, I'm probably saying that completely wrong, I do apologize, uh, is also story editor and writing 303. And then Ajoke, I'm not going to destroy that name. I'm really not going to try. I apologize. <laughs> uh, three or five. Um, so it's like everyone gets like, oh, there it goes on the screen. Everyone gets like, you know, apart from Justine, everyone gets like a single episode to focus on, which I think is actually, you know, they're all doing it together. Like Rami's overseeing the whole thing. And then obviously Rafe's behind that. But like they can just focus on writing one episode and put their best into that. I think that, you know, worked really well in season two. Yeah. I mean, for sure. It was great. It was a great step in all of the writing for season two. So yeah. hopefully, and I hope maybe um, they're benefiting um, maybe a little bit from some of the, I mean, even though, I don't know, maybe not. I was thinking about the writer's strike and the actor's strike, but I, I guess it depends on when those were ratified, how they, much that like affect their current filming. Uh, well, they were... Um they were filming before the actors strike started yeah, it's just a question uh, but of the like writers the strike went on before the to effect compared yeah. to the contracts that they have and like what contract they're operating under yeah even if there's a new contract you know all of that contract piece. uh random nomen is suggesting that uh, 304 is going to be named the shido rising <laughs> <laughs> don't That's encourage cool. mel i love, I love that it. That's uh, amazing. That is great. Um, I want to do a shout out for the three of us um, and uh, for a fellow podcast. Uh, I'm just going to pop this off the screen for a second, Leia. Uh, oh, so yeah. on Tuesday night, uh, Mel, Leia, and I went and uh, joined a whole bunch of people on the Re the Wheel Reads podcast uh, for two reasons. Firstly, it was their 200th episode. 
Yeah. So congratulations, Yay! then. Well, that. <laughs> um, that's two hundred. That's that's insane. That's a lot of work. Um, so congratulations to the three of them for that. Um, and also, it was Alan's birthday, uh, so we were celebrating for that. Um, we were invited to cause chaos. That was what Alan wanted. He wanted it to be a chaotic episode. Uh, so we hopped in. I think we achieved that, didn't we, ladies? It was. Oh yeah. Let's just say um, toe on cups <laughs> and um, everyone's birthday but Alan's. And you have a vague idea of how much chaos we caused. It was like a two hour long episode, uh, which I think was a decent stint considering. And we, they could barely talk about the two chapters that because we kept just like. What about the cup? Fully on them because they did keep like trying really hard to bring it back to the chapters. But then we would just yeah. be like, all right, you want to focus? Woo! Here yeah. we go. Oh, did it you was... see Kitty? Yes. Yeah, it's not yeah, my Kitty, it... it's my brother's Kitty. There's two of them. They're both Aww. orange tabbies here. That's yeah, gorgeous. Three of my four cats made uh it which really confused Chris. He's like, How many oh, cats yeah. do you have? <laughs> <laughs> there were a few cats, yeah. Um, so I believe that episode uh comes out next week. Um, so keep an eye out for that, folks. If you've never listened, you can just enjoy the hilarity. We joined about half hour in ish. There was a slight delay getting in, so sort of uh, so much in the 30 and 40 minute up there was yeah, probably 40, about 40 by the time in there. Yeah. But listen to yeah. the whole episode anyway, and just know that we come in about 40 minutes in. Uh, yeah. We actually stuck around right to the end, didn't we? Which I didn't think we would do. We're but... not planning to do that. No, we, we did not plan. Different. It was it was fun. very late for me. Yeah, but it was so much also, fun. Also, if chaotically listening to a bunch of voices talk over each other is too stressful for you, you could watch it on YouTube. And it yes. would make a little bit more sense. There were visual things on YouTube that will make it make more sense. That is very, very true. Yeah, um, so, so it's, yeah. it's up on their YouTube channel too. You is it is it already up there or will it be, it'll be up yeah, next week, there. I imagine? Yeah. Is there now? Mm -hmm. Oh, amazing. I was, I was actually looking back at it to, to check and see how terrible my mic sounded. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's okay. All right. Uh, Dane Luhu is a mod, uh, not just here um, and, and for myself uh, in my Discord server, but is a, has been a long time mod of the Wheel Reads as well. Uh, she recommends watching as opposed to listening. So, um, and uh, Jesse watched it live. Tell us what you think. Um, the cups was killing me. I loved Mel the next morning. You were like, well, what was with the cups? What was the cups? <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know what we were doing. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's, it's so great. Um, but yeah. Uh, I don't think there was really any other news, was there? It was kind of like a bit of a chill time. But it is time. Lair has been putting us off for five days. It's time to flip the calendar. I'm definitely going to take the first episode we do in May off, let's be honest. Um... <laughs> we're, not, we're not talking about May. We're talking about April. Yes, so I realize that. Ready but... for this? Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's flip the calendar. One second. Oh, wait. Kelly, you've got one of these as well, don't you? This is my clip. I brought it to work. That's amazing. <laughs> you did <All> right. not. <laughs> I am so mad at you right now. I know. Do you have an office or do you have it on display in a public communal work area? Um, in my office. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it, later this year, people can come in and just see your badass sister. Yeah. Like exactly. weightlifting. weightlifting and, uh, yeah. Which one did you pick up? Uh, Dari. Wait, Dari. Okay, yeah. Weightlifting Dari. That's amazing. All right. Let's uh, let's focus and uh, flip the calendar and let's see April. <gasps> Ooh la 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 la. <laughs> that is our wonderful Kevin Angus um, doing, honestly, people, I'm, I'm sure some people touched up the photos or whatever before they sent them in, but Kev fully went in. He's like, I'm going to Photoshop the shit out of this, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it almost pulled it back up. It looks a little bit like Omar from what series, doesn't it? He does a little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. They're like they could Just be like cousins or brothers. Yeah. It was it was so funny. I think we need I to get Kev and Omar. Sure at all. I left that up to you. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need to Photoshop any of them. Um they were great pictures. So I look forward to doing more. Um, but yeah, so that's the calendar. Uh, anything else? I think I think we're good there. 
Yeah, Cal uh, just real quick. I sent the calendar to Kelly without telling her I was doing it. <laughs> so Kelly, do you want to tell your side of the story? <laughs> Um, well, I knew something was coming because you told me you had bought me something. Mm -hmm. And, well, you had also told me about the calendar in separate times. Completely but, separate conversations. Yeah. Yeah. But for some reason, when I got it, I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and I start flipping through it. And I was like, oh. well, and your husband was like, really like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> Because he wasn't a part of any of those conversations. <laughs> and, um, nice. So is that why you had to take it to work? He <laughs> was like, not in my house. <laughs> I don't want those belt abs and yeah. giant biceps Bicep. distracting me in my house. Yeah. I like it as also when people notice it and it uh, always leads to a fun conversation. I <laughs> What what's been the funniest reaction to people seeing it in your office? Oh, um, I think that my sister is in it, <laughs> <laughs> and, and like it's just to it. Then or you're like come back in October. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I flip through it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's dual purpose. I write important dates in it, but then also like you know when people come in and you're talking about serious stuff and then they notice it. And then it just leads to a whole different conversation, right? Because when you say, oh, my sister does this podcast, and they just always have so many questions. So <laughs> I love it. Yes, I absolutely love it. So that's great. Yeah, uh, folks, if you're not if you're not caught up with what we're talking about, we're talking about the snack order calendar that was put together by myself and Brian last year. And um, we mailed out everyone got copies. Uh, everyone who bought one got a copy, sorry. Uh, and we raised like 750 pounds for um, the Entertainment Community Fund, um, which supports, um, you know, all the people that are on strike, the writers and the, and the actors and that to, to help them get through those tough times. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll probably be doing it again this year. I think I think we should do it again. Have some fun. There's been suggestions on who we should do, but uh, Brian and I will work on that. So, oh, um, yeah, okay. and hopefully at some point soon. I know it's been mailed out. We did uh, auction off at What a Holiday a copy that was signed by Taylor Napier, who is the inspiration. Who was our snack order. Um, it took a while because Taylor was traveling for uh, holidays and work and things like that. So it took a while, but uh, we got it mailed out to um, to the appropriate place so he could eventually get to it and then uh it had, it had like a filled in envelope so he could like repackage it and send it out to andrew from black tower podcast who uh was the winner of the signed calendar <laughs> um, taylor informed me like a week and a half ago two weeks ago that he's like all right i've gotten to it i've got it signed it's <laughs> it should be on its way now sort of thing it'll be on its way soon i was like okay so i told andrew he's like i don't care if it takes another six months i'm just excited about it so um yeah that was a that was a fun perk um so i was gonna yeah, be so mad if kelly won that <laughs> oh yeah she was like i for swear to she was convinced that you were gonna win kelly and she kept i was so convinced i was like this is just my block that kelly will win this i was like and i'll let her i'll allow her to have the calendar during the year i think maybe or if i visit her like we'll switch or there was this like <laughs> hmm. i was so you. mad at you ahead of time without Smart. any justification <laughs> How mad would you be if I was like actually using it and it's like my schedule <laughs> all written over it? We're not talking, we're just not talking about that because I'm getting anxious. <laughs> <laughs> I special. love it. I love it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's so practical. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Anyone who bought a calendar got put into the draw, except for myself and Brian, um, got into the draw. If you purchased a calendar, you were eligible to uh, win your copy signed in effect by by taylor um so andrew on that so i kept his copy mailed it to uh to taylor i also sent him a copy for himself as well um so hopefully that's up there somewhere where him and rafe can just look at it and rafe can laugh at it all the time and be like these people love you too much um you know where's my calendar <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's uh it was just a uh, something that taylor was willing to do for us and it was um it was amazing i loved it so but yeah, now I'm thinking Leia just bought me a calendar to up her chances of getting a signed one. That's totally 
not the only reason I bought it. <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, when I put the names into the wheel and spun it out, there was your name and and it was your name and and Slayer's name. Like they were both in the wheel separately. So there was, you know, there was a double chance. Um, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. I think I think it might be time, folks. Um, so shall we do our stabby affirmations and then move on to fear the spear? All right. Yes. Sorry. Go for it. I'm really excited about that. All right. I'm, I'm um, sensing that. <laughs> flip these around a little bit because I did look at the ones on top. Yep. Um, can you can you see it? I am kicking life's ass. Yes. Right. So, one way or Love another, that. in your own little way, you are kicking life's ass. Yes. I'm trying. Do you want to know how I didn't kick ass today? <laughs> yes. I mean, I kicked ass in some ways, but then I definitely didn't kick ass in other ways. So um, I'm clearly not where I normally am. I'm in a different city completely. But I'm also here partly because my company has a new building and it's like, it's been a it's a building that we just bought. It's been sitting empty for like three years. And my colleagues definitely told me that the toilets were working. <clears throat> but they neglected to say that the toilets were working only in one part of the building and not the other part of the building. Oh dear. So I was there by myself <laughs> earlier today. And I like in the in the morning and I was like, ah, I'll just use this toilet. And I used the toilet and it would not flush. And I left. Oh, no. And I was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to solve this problem. So then I did some research to try and figure out how to solve the problem. Because it's one of those like automatic flushing toilets. And I was oh. like, maybe the batteries are broken. Because it's sat for like three years and batteries are out. So like. I just like left it and I knew nobody else was going to be there for the rest of the day. So at the end of the day, this is why like I look like this because I literally just got back. Uh, I I went back there to try and fix the toilets after I had gotten my plumbing license from Google. And, uh, and, I, and I took everything apart and I replaced the batteries and the automatic flusher and the light was turning on. And I was like, yeah, this is going to work. And I put it all back together and nothing, nothing happened. Several things, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> my colleagues are just like, they're just like, I just keep texting them, like, "I'm sorry, it's still not fixed. I'm sorry, don't go to the bathroom. I'm sorry." Wow! Like, and did somebody oh. finally tell you, like, they just literally don't work over there? No, like nobody knows. Like we just bought it, so we're all like trying to figure out what works and what doesn't oh. in the building. So like, no, they. It was, it was after, it was after I used the toilet and I was like, you guys said the toilets were working and they're like, yeah, only in one part. Sorry, we neglected to mention that, that extra bit of information. And I was like, yep, you did. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, well, that's Good fine. on you for taking apart the plumbing and putting it back together for the battery stuff. Like, I, I tried. Yeah. I tried and as Lumina <laughs> said, um, you... You just helped in the discovery process. I did. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now we know. I mean, I in my in my defense, I was the person who said maybe they need batteries. And the response from pretty much everyone was like, the toilets need batteries? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. How do you think yeah. the automatic flusher works? Just magic? Like, is it water well power? It doesn't work that no. way. There's some sort of electricity that needs to go into it for it to watch it. And they were just like, I oh. just always assumed that there was like electricity piped in, like somehow through that box next yeah, to the Yeah, in pump. some in some cases, yes, that is possible. But you know, especially if it's like a retrofit, there's not power lines run near the toilets that's just not generally a way the toilets are mm, right you know, bad, bathrooms are set up but they do route them in like some more like modern buildings but are interesting that's fast modern <laughs> it's old i have so many questions but also yeah. that is not a now thing <laughs> like yeah, yeah. It's, not a it's, it's pretty funny it's pretty funny yeah it's a it's like an ex-brewery and the building was built in like the 70s or something 
And it's a really cool wow. space, and we have to convert it and all that stuff. But yes, lots of interesting things we are discovering. Yeah. And, and apparently my colleagues now know that automatic flushing toilets need batteries. So, this is yeah. true. Yeah. And and also not to go in the bathroom that I used. <laughs> <laughs> not until it's fixed and somebody has come and cleaned it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I want to fix it because I, you all know that it was, it was me. <laughs> but it's still just in there. It's just. Well, yeah, there's really me. no good way to like until it works because it's not like you're going to like ladle it into a bucket or something. No, I yeah. am not. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that is fair. Sorry All for right. that tangent, but yeah, that's okay. I did not kick life's ass today. I tried very hard though. <laughs> I Look. feel like you did kick life's ass. Like you yes. tried really hard, and maybe. Again, like maybe it wasn't the outcome that you wanted, but I feel like you were very, like you were kicking ass, trying to do everything that you could, so. Is this the appropriate moment to play butt rock? <laughs> I think Mel needs it, 100%. <laughs> All right, let's do. Yeah, hey, let's we do... should also do that in honor of, of land. No actors, man, drag her in. Oh. Winner of the Grinwell Cup. Oh yes, Lan did win the Grin World Cup. That is very true. So enjoy. Uh, so just focus on the butt on the left and not the one on the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, let's do Fear the Spear and um, get to know Kelly a little better. feel nervous very very yeah i feel like we need to now do this this is my very oh, frightening this doesn't help this no <laughs> okay well that's fine that's okay it's not meant to to, to help so to speak okay <clears throat> time for fear the spear uh firstly we like to we kick my it off so many tried it by the way <laughs> you spare so many tried i love that um we make it easy <laughs> All right, you kick it off by telling us your name, society, and clan. Okay. <laughs> and you My can name. make it up. You can make it this up. This is all... Oh, good. There's no right yeah. answers. They're just your answers. However, okay. what you now say will be set in stone for the rest of your life. Just, you know, fair warning. Okay. I have a question. Is... No, we ask you the question. Yeah. <laughs> That's not, that's not how this works. He's already failed it. <laughs> What's your question? Is, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it as, oh. a, as the first sister. Is clan a subset of society or vice? So, the so society, society is like, like your job. Clan's like yes, your problem. Society is like Bardar Mai, so it's the group. The, the warrior society and your clan is where your home is okay like i just said yeah okay like example, purple rocks my name is <laughs> inigo montoya of you killed my father society and the prepared to die clan how can i top that <laughs> um okay my name is kelly um my clan is um Southern California, and my society is um, Hufflepuff. <laughs> you are so Hufflepuff. Oh, so true. Okay, all right. That is right. so it. true. Yeah, it's a love it. It's a it was like the brown. You're the brown Aja clan almost. Hey, Ooh. she said Hufflepuff. Yeah, I know. But, sorry, I was making wheels up. I will. I retract my statement. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh we need the spinny wheel so we can actually pick out the questions uh so let's enjoy the spinny wheel of kissing because it smooshes at the end all right question four mel you get yeah. this first oh, oh apparently just go straight back to that that's not okay we need to go back to that there we go so mel you get to ask question number four first off cool all right kelly what notable person would you take, Gaishan? 
How important is it that I know what Geishan is? <laughs> it's uh, it's the Aiel. Um, when when they're in Kelly's battle, the book, right? when they punch somebody, they it's, they go into the white for a year and a day, so they act yeah. as servants, but they're not slaves. Oh, people who, people who act as servants after they've been captured in battle. Right, right, okay. <laughs> um, hmm. I'd have to, like this person would serve me and. Mm -hmm. hang out with them a lot in any Mm -hmm. way that you want either professionally personally you you don't like them and you would make them want to do like gross things you like them yeah yeah i'm thinking someone who's a really good cook Mm -hmm. okay maybe maybe i'm taking it a little bit of a different direction you can take it in whatever direction you want i'm gonna go with paul hollywood Oh, okay. oh. Who's Hollywood? Oh my god, he would be the worst guy shine ever. I love you. He would be a terrible guy shine. Paul Hollywood. Um, It'd be fun uh, to British, try. Great, <laughs> great British Bake Off layer. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, the, the one the that's like, like nice but mean to everybody. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He would, yeah. but he is a yeah. great baker, and you would learn a lot. And he doesn't know anything about Mexican food. Uh, no, oh God, very no. much, very much. No, I watched zero, the episode. Zero. Kira and I watched the episode. And we were just like, it's, uh, did you watch that, Kelly? That yeah. episode? It was so bad. Yeah, it was, I was so like, offensive. I was like, dude, you <laughs> may as well just like get a bunch of Chinese people in and teach them how to make noodles. That's how bad you are right now. Like, this is terrible. <laughs> it was. I was so like, it was shocking. Yeah, I was embarrassed. Mm-hmm. As, yeah. as a British person, I was embarrassed. You should have been. You should have yeah. been. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Kelly, I and I'm pretty sure he kept here. calling them tacos. I'm pretty oh. sure he kept saying tacos. Does he? Yeah. That's because he's well, trying to get his own micro That's why, why he's trying to do that. Take him guy shine in Southern California because then you mm-hmm. could actually teach him about Mexican food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you guys do mm-hmm. have the Southern California version of Mexican food there. But then mm-hmm. also because you and your husband are um, great bakers. And I feel like when he like shakes your hand that one oh. time that he shakes your hand, you'd be like, yeah, I'm going to yep, make more shake my hand. <laughs> yeah. He's That's your right. servant. He has yeah. to. He has to, yeah. This is true. That's All perfect. Right. Totally well planned. That she says that. Well Love planned, it. Kelly. Well planned. Next question up. It's going to be question seven. All right. Question seven. What is seven? All right. Kelly, what is in your cadence or pockets? Now, we've had, I just want to give you a fair warning here. We've had some pretty amazing answers to this question. All right. So, and I do want to bring back a comment that appeared earlier um, that came from Dash. Kelly has brought her trouser moose already. Now, we'll give you context for that afterwards. But first, we need to know what is in your cane or pockets. Now, that just feels really weird that I've just done that all in that order. And I do apologize. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's purple, it's brilliant. (laughs) That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So much the fact that she somehow has managed to find clothing that has normal size pockets, not girl pockets. Well then. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) No, those are the like um the French, like, very poofy pockets where you could fit a bottle of wine in. Yeah. Yeah. The, the head still sticks out. Well, as it's it just, should. You grab it easily, yeah. obviously. It's a pocket <laughs> duck. Dash is celebrating. You got a duck. Um, <laughs> DK Moon, that's quite a duck in your pocket. Um, <laughs> um, is that a duck in your pocket or do you just quack as to see me? Um, <laughs> all right, so now... Now I feel like I need to explain the trouser moose and how you've just totally trashed this in the past. So, Kev, um, God, like 18 months ago or something now, Kev came on the show. Um, and it's going to be two despair. years. It was yeah, two, two years. years. It was like a little less than two years. It was two Jordan times ago. It was, ago. It was right after Jordan. Just under two years ago. Oh, yeah. So just under two years ago, because it was uh, shortly after Jordan Conyer before last. And uh, he was kind of prepared um, for this question. And he got 
like this little moose thing out of his pocket and it was was it like a bottle opener as well or something i it can't was remember a bottle exactly. opener, yeah. it was a bottle opener yeah but it was like a moose there head a and it was... canadians that were hosting him and yeah. so they were drinking canadian beer and they got a they were moose it's like a whole thing. Yeah. Got a moose in your pocket. They're just the jokes. Yeah. So it became tr someone put. Oh my god! This Kev bring it. Kev's got a trouser moose. You know, and it just became a thing <laughs> from there. So yeah. Uh, and I don't think we've really like we've had some great ones, but I think trouser moose until today, possibly. <laughs> I know. Like out. Uh, no I feel like this is a poll. No we haven't done a poll for quite a while. Got but... a massive duck to. We need to, to let's let's do a poll. Party. Uh, which, and we need a gonna... name for the duck. Have we created a name for the duck yet? Pocket duck? No. Uh, no. Because we talked about it being in big pockets, so I don't know. Yeah, true. Which is better? Decoy duck? Uh, all I can think of is decoy duck, but like that doesn't make any sense. So. Trouser moose. Not trouser mouse, trouser moose, Rob. Uh, mm -hmm. Or... <laughs> it's a different size thing that's pocket in your foul? trouser. Pocket fowl? Ooh. Uh, disco duck, pluck the duck. Um... <laughs> pocket pigeon. I like dank that. Pocket I like the pigeon. alliteration of pocket pigeon. Yeah. Dank, dank tail duck. Um... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Pocket fowl sounds quite funny. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Pocket, pocket fowl. fowl. It sounds foul. Right. <laughs> It does, yeah, there we go. So that poll is in there, and we'll find out whether you have usurped Kev as giving the best answers to that question so far, uh, which would be a pretty. The police will do the right thing here. Yeah, I'm sure they will. All right, Trident will poke you. <laughs> well, don't get them excited, Mel. <laughs> All right, Claire <laughs> is going to get to ask you question eleven. So here we go. No pressure. Other than the three bolt land. Where else in the Wheel of Time would you like to live? Hmm. I feel like you gotta go with the setting. The setting. Ooh, interesting. Why? Hmm. Well. Because reading, because trees. Trees for sure. Yeah. Trees, just trees. I agree with you. I and it always yeah. just seems kind of cozy and welcoming and I don't need to worry about doing magic. I can't do magic. That's true. Protect you from magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trees are very appealing. <clears throat> I like trees a lot, especially when they don't get And you get out. to read a lot. Yeah. So much reading. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay. yeah, I think that's it. I, I guess like the back it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Shall we go round one more or shall we move on to the round one more? Specific? Round one more. Okay. Round one more. I want to torture my sister more. <laughs> go in question. Good evil well. cackle there, Leia. It is very good. All right. Was it? Uh, yeah. It's appropriate that a maiden is asking you this question. <laughs> oh. Who in the wheel of time do you most want to stabby stab, Kelly? Who in the wheel of time do I most want to stabby stab? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to say my answer. Why? I'm gonna, do I'm it. Say it. Say it. Be brave. <gasps> See? No, 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 trust me, I get it. A lot of people do. Why. Tell us why. Okay. Um, I just, you know, I'm not as much annoyed at her as much as I feel like she at times represents bad stereotypes of women. Mm. And that bothers mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally mm -hmm. agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You are not unique in this opinion. <laughs> Whoa. Good. I mean, not good, but cool. there are <laughs> there are people in the fandom um, who try not to hold it against the characters, 
when the male writer who wrote them makes them the stupid late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I get that. But yeah, absolutely. If you just took it all at face value, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. there, she's, mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just like, Ugh. yeah. She doesn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And, um, I'll try to help here. <laughs> Kelly's older sisters are <laughs> better than I need. <laughs> That Maybe that's know. why Kelly doesn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, you and I are going to have words later. <laughs> okay. I think it might be Yay! time for the next question. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, question two. And this is my question to ask. Uh, oh, no, question two doesn't apply because that's uh, someone who role plays. So we will do another one. I, Kelly, I do you role play? Anyone from Wheel of Time? Well, no. we Ever. dressed up, but just that once. No. <laughs> All right, we're going to do question nine instead. <laughs> if you were to do a new warrior society, what would their special skill set be? Hmm. Hmm. This is a good question. It is. Yeah. I'm Great. really glad that Leia came up with it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I would say non lethal domination in general. Ooh. Like finding ways to get the enemy to submit, but without hurting people. Nice. That's really wow. Hard. Okay. That's mm -hmm. You know that that's actually like how you earn the most honor or G in battle, according to the IEO culture. This is very it's true. Like yeah. Touching someone with your weapon but not killing them. So yeah. that but would be it, like the most honorable society warrior society. society. So you would have the most honorable warrior society, essentially. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I don't yeah. necessarily know how we would do it, but. We just would. In fun way. I mean, like the boring answer would be negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> the Dom clan. <laughs> I will tell you big what fan, to do. Big fan. Yeah. yeah. That's what you meant, right? That kind of yeah. Let me yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And tell you how to submit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Love just like right. look for some and scare people. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last of our. Uh, pre of our random questions and then we've got the pre-written questions i'm gonna go question eight Leia's gonna finish us off with where there's the mouse i lost on my screens for a second there uh, here's a fun one what is your usquai of choice that's the drink right yeah yes um wine i like wine any particular type um these days i'm into sauvignon blanc Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, fun story about Leia is uh, she <laughs> bought me my first wine uh, when we were an age I will not reveal. <laughs> <laughs> and the wine of choice at that point was a Blackberry Merlot. Oh. Wow. That's much fancier than the Boone's Farm that I was raised on as a young wine drinker. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. It was about that level. Yeah. Oh, what's it? Yeah. Love it. It's just oh, wasn't what's it? Cool oh, okay. okay. I was like, I, I think you were home we're from school. Now. Yes. Yeah. And we went to your, was it your friend's party? Is this when it was? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I will reveal something about the age because I didn't have my driver's license, but you also let me drive the car. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, love it. Very not the name, right? All the secrets coming out now. Leia's face is just <laughs> a picture. What, what's the statute of limitations there? <laughs> I think we're past it. Where's my yeah. halo? I need my halo back. <laughs> I admit I did the same thing to my little brother. 
except it wasn't wine because I got a bunch of liquor and I didn't know what all the liquor was for and what you did with it. <laughs> it's just like, here, have this bottle of I'm not sure what it is. Gin? <laughs> How do you use that? I don't know. Wow. And he was like, okay. And then he put it in his underwear drawer for some reason and didn't drink it like ever. And my mom found it like, I don't know, like six months later. She's like, why do you have a bottle of gin in your underwear drawer? And he's like, no reason. Just, just, just happened. I didn't drink it, clearly. <laughs> just holding it. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have three specific questions we have written just for you, Kelly. Oh. Uh, Leia, I feel we, like... We decided we get... that because we're already first sisters, we don't have to go through the first sister ceremony. Yes. Um, we were going to ask you the questions, but yeah, we like, mm. yeah. So, yeah. Um, shall we go <laughs> like just in the screen order? Like, Mel, do you want the first one on the list? And then I'll take the second one, and Leia, you can yes. take the last one? Yes, you can just uh, tell us. Um, it's okay. Yeah. All right. This, right now, you can just tell us for this particular thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not That's a long all the story. Things. All right. That's another Mel. Jordan Pond story. <laughs> Mel, that's your question. Kelly, out of all the cats Leia has ever had, which one is your oh, favorite? Ever had. Ever, ever had. Not current cats, all cats of all time. I feel like there's a very obvious moyuendo here. Oh. So. I think, well, I knew Dari as a kitten. It's not appropriate for sisters to say that. I know. Like, that's why I was like, there's a very obvious one here, but I'm not saying it. It's, 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 <laughs> Seriously, it only just, it doesn't just work when you the ask the sister because then I'm sorry, Kelly. We had to do this. I, okay. I think the just, wheels reads has like just got me like okay. really interrupt and cause problems sort of mindset this week. It's been hilarious. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, besides Rob being inappropriate, can you repeat the answer to your question? <laughs> <laughs> I think I didn't even quite catch on what you meant at first, and then... Do you now? <laughs> yeah. And if yeah, you don't, do. that's totally fine, because yeah, you it's don't. Totally it would have been yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag incest is fun. That's a different book series. That's that not where I was going with that, anyway. That is not where I was going with that. Oh. So I'm the only one who went there? I'm so confused. Where I went there too. Oh, That's what I thought he was talking about. Answer about the question. Ask yes. about the cats. Kelly. Tell us about the cats. Oh, I'm so confused. All the cats. <laughs> I knew Dari as a kitten. And it, I don't know. It's so cute and fun to hang out. And I have a lot of funny pictures of him. It's a boy, right? Dari's yes. Yes. Dari is a boy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Kelly, Kelly met Dari the week after we named him, so like, which we named him the day I got him. So mm -hmm. she was in town for a trip and they bonded. Yeah. Aww. And I just realized that I didn't put any of those pictures in the ones that we uploaded. That's okay. And there's this adorable video of them playing together, but... Um, I just went through my phone real quick and was like, ah, no, but that, that's cute. All right. So Dari wins that. Uh, your next question, Kelly. You're a badass bitch, just like your first sister. What would you say is the most badass thing about you? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think, I guess I'll say one of, okay, I'll say that the maybe the most badass thing I've done is sure. surf waves that are taller than I am. Whoa. Is that in Costa Rica? Um, some there and some um, here in California. Cool. cool. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how the Aiel on this show feel about the fact that Kelly has ridden a board on top of water that is not drinkable. Oh, I didn't understand anything she said. I just thought she, I just liked how proud she sounded. Um, 
yeah that's terrifying I've, so i guess that's even makes it cooler that she likes to be in settings and that she's in water and um i'm kind you know kind of embarrassed on water that, a board on water it. yes it's called yeah. surfing Okay. Yeah. All right. And Leia has the last question. You are quite the Jane Farce writer. Where, so it's a two part question. Where is the coolest place you've been so far? Also, what is on your absolute must go to before you wake from the dream that you haven't been to yet? Hmm. The coolest place I've been so far. You mean other than Jordan Con? I mean, you could say Jordan Con, but yeah. <laughs> I was up there. Um, Ramen right over that. Mm-hmm. Um, she knows her audience. <laughs> am I pandering? Uh, um, I think uh, Patagonia was one of the coolest places I've been. Um, a couple places in there um, near Barloche. Just really incredible scenery. Um, and I think that's one of the coolest places I've been. And I definitely want to go back. Was that one of there. your solo trips that you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, so many places I want to go. Hmm. I actually really want to go um, to Alaska. I've never been there, which isn't too far away, but um, I think would be another well, beautiful place. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to follow up with this question because I didn't put it as a question, but um, it's something I, I've always found your answer to this question fascinating um and i'm probably gonna word it incorrectly uh where if you could go to one place like for the like go to one country for the rest of your life oh. to travel around where where what what country would that be like you have to stay in that country yeah and i think i think i'm wording it correctly <laughs> Because so, I know what you've said before, and I don't know if your answer has changed. Mm. Wait, like, that's the country I'm going to die in? No, but just, to, like, that's the only country you're going to travel around and, and do things. <laughs> do you not remember this? I <laughs> Am don't I the remember only one this. <laughs> I'm just the chat. Was wine involved? <laughs> <laughs> Strategy. Uh, no, no. Um, yeah, I guess maybe it's one that, um, was it more, more in recent years or younger years? <laughs> you can just yeah. answer what you think. All right. right now. So you said that you said the U.S. to oh, answer to that question. I, yeah. Do you remember I now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause I think, um, <laughs> now question. I understand. Okay. Because... Do you remember the thing that you said? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It, no, it's true. Um, I thought it had to be a country outside of the U.S. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I don't know why. It's such an older sister thing to do to her younger sister. Be like, let me yeah. try to check. <laughs> because we have so many different things to see and do here. Very landscapes, desert, Pacific Northwest, you know, beautiful the Atlantic coastal yeah, Great Lakes. Um, so yeah, and I think actually a lot more of our journeys, um, my husband and I recently have been within the U.S. just going new places, and so Alaska kind of fits with that. Um, yeah, but like the national parks we have here are just incredible. I'd probably like to go to you know a lot, all the big ones one day. Me too, for sure. Mm-hmm. Nice. Love that. So, what do you reckon? How, Kelly, how did they Kelly answer survive? the poll? 
I the feel poll, like they, they've weighed in already and we know. Yeah, the poll, Kelly, congratulations. You have now taken Kev's spot as the giving the best answer to um what is in your cancel pockets with pocket foul winning 55 to 45. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> pocket yeah. foul. I almost just beheaded him. <laughs> I feel like we need to like just screenshot that. Like Kelly just holding it up as a prize and make that a meme. Like, yeah, I love that he's that's... now your trophy. <laughs> That seems very appropriate. So I love that. Okay. So it is time to uh, take a take a breather from that. We can change the music. We can go. Sorry, there's a lot of memes to scroll through. So. Cleanse. Time for a cleanse. Time for a cat. Yeah. Oh, look at this little sleepy kitty. Oh. Do you know which one that is? Oh my God, he's so gorgeous. Um, that one is ramen. Ramen? <gasps> uh-huh. Perfect ramen for ramen rattle. rattle. <laughs> yeah. I just rattle. love how difficult their life is with... I know, right? So... Life is so terrible. hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love see, that. there's another one who's smaller, and her name is Nori. So yeah, ramen and nori. Oh, ramen and nori. That's so cute. That's so cute. Love that. Okay. Might be time to talk to Jordan then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love daylight. Do not rattle ramen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you want to see what happens? He he makes noises for a <laughs> I mean, I if you tried to rattle me, I will do that at the end of the show. I keep stepping there. on him accidentally. Oh my god! So he's made a lot oh. of noise at me. I just admitted that on YouTube forever. Now my brother's brother watching? be able to like see this video. Is this your first brother watching? Yeah. I'm do just that. used yeah. to a dog that moves out of my way. That's fair. That is very fair. It's not move. It just does no. what it wants. This is this is how they work. All right, Leia, take it away, and All right. teach so, us. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm not really sure where to start this story, but uh, like, I've been a nerd for a long time, and my family kind of is just like okay like that's your thing and they they all like pat my hands like that's cute <laughs> and let me go along my way as i talk about things and they're like uh and kelly feel free to interject and correct me and i'm not getting things correctly <laughs> oh okay <laughs> yeah um so um and obviously i've been going to these cons for quite a while um been obsessed like overly obsessed with the wheel of time for quite a while is uh along with other fandoms. So like, like, I love all the fandoms. And if you want to talk Star Wars, I'll talk Star Wars. If you want to talk Star Trek, I'll talk Star Trek. And um, I think the first time in Kelly, I think it's the only time you and your partner have played D&D is when I, we were at your place. You guys were like, what is D&D? And I was like, okay, I, it'll be better if I, we play a game because I can't really explain it. <laughs> yeah, it, it was the <laughs> amazing D&D game. <laughs> Anyway. And do you remember though that um so my husband's first name is Tom and Leia goes, okay, you know, pick a name for your character. And he goes, uh Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like pause and, and you, like that's a thing you could do. <laughs> yeah. And, and like, you're like, okay, 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 we'll roll with it. But then it got really confusing because you know we're trying to be in character, but then we're asking questions, and I'm like, which Tom are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Did you put an H in it at least? It was all verbal. So like I literally just like ripped up pieces of paper and put their stats and like, and I, and they finally understood why I needed to take notes <laughs> as a DM. <laughs> uh, Cause they, I mean, you, both are excellent D&D players, and I feel like you should actually play D&D. But anyways, that is a different story. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. So um, I don't remember exactly. Did you say you wanted to come to Jordan Con or? 
Kelly or? I don't remember exactly how it happened either. I think you were always, you know, talking about all these cons and how welcoming the people were. And I think we were talking about doing a trip for your birthday and mm -hmm. um, some things were just falling into place. And so I was like, you know, why don't I come to, even though it's nowhere near your birthday, <laughs> I think we like a planned day. it <laughs> several months after your birthday, and then it occurred several months later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So somehow between all of the things, um, she decided that she actually wanted to make this crazy journey. Um, <laughs> and then I did what a lot of the podcasts talk about. So there, there's multiple podcasts that give advice on for first timers before the con. So I, and one of the reasons where you waited a year was talking with Kelly last year, we decided, me, <laughs> Kelly and I decided the best time to have her on was right before Jordan con. Um, so, uh, cause again, we, there, you can go to like, I know black tower just did one. I know, um, Tucker on Riyadh is doing one. So like, there's a whole bunch of podcasts that are going to talk about, as experienced con goers, we've we've forgotten, and the con has changed a little bit. So, uh, since we've just started, uh, so uh, we t and again, Kelly had a, has a very aggressive, very like <laughs> like we're gonna do all the things, <laughs> sister. <laughs> so like. Well, and I asked you, do you want to do costumes? Do you feel comfortable? So, because cosplay is a very personal thing. So, and, and what was your decision, Kelly? Uh, to cosplay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But you, yeah. you didn't really want to buy things, right? Yeah. So, I'm later, you know, as I've gotten older, I kind of have, you know, more wanted less things. And so, for example, for Halloween, Maybe this is boring, but I dress up as the same thing every year and don't buy a new costume. Um, so I wanted to, as much as possible, use things that Leia and I already owned. And as you know, when we were kind of talking about it, and I was like, I think I want to, but yeah, here's my deal. You were like, okay, got it. Let we could do this or this or this, and I have all this stuff, and all you would need is this, this, and this, like black pants. And I'm like, well, I have black pants. <laughs> so, uh and it was so fun and so when i was thinking about advice for first timers one of them was I don't know, is, can i jump in with my advice now yes absolutely anytime. yeah you don't have to dress up you know you not everyone does but it's really fun to do it so it um like we got to take pictures with people and you see other people dressed as the same thing as you and you're like oh you're matt coffin i'm matt coffin yeah. Um, so speaking of the Matt Cawthon outfit, I do have a picture of us. Um, so we did Gender Bender, Rand, and Matt. Um, <laughs> and Kelly, you got so many compliments on your Matt. Yeah. yeah. Thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, That's but you really were. You were the perfect Matt. Like, I feel like of all the Matts last year, you were the best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at every single thing I'm wearing. I think the only things that were mine were the black pants and actually <laughs> the eye patch, which I already owned. And your shoes and your socks. You you had your own shoes and socks. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so would your would your advice also be like if you have a friend you know who loves costumes to like connect with that friend to help you like come up with these stuff so that you don't have to like spend money. Yeah, I it's think so. Time. I think, yeah, there's a way to do it where you don't have to spend a ton of money. And, um, you know, you probably, like, I imagine if people are going, they might know people. If not, it seems very easy to connect with people. This, you know, one of the things I've learned through Leia is like online, in person, everyone is so friendly and welcoming. And so I think I can only imagine people would be super welcoming and want to share. And in fact, when we were um, all kind of getting ready together and dressing up as wise women, I feel like it was like, oh, you could wear this and this scarf and this necklace. And 
Oh, um, we went through just... multiple combinations. So, and this is where I'm going to show the next set of pictures. So this is um, me and Kelly together. Mm-hmm. But also we had a maiden with the wise ones. Yes. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Yes. And this is actually before you did our hair, which is too bad we didn't get a picture of the amazing hairdo you did. Oh, crap. I did get a picture of the hair, and I just couldn't find it. So ah. that's, okay. Yeah. that's okay. We got the gist. Yeah, okay. another great costume. That was yeah. so fun. And yet another tip to save money is that you can repurpose your cat toys as feathers to decorate your hair. Oh, <laughs> It's to- I totally save all the feathers that they rip out of their toys and I keep them in a place. I steam them so like, you know, they're not going to have like bugs or anything, but like steam them so that there's not so much cat saliva on them. But yeah, so put that in the hair. I, mean, I didn't even think to ask about cat saliva. <laughs> there's a lot of faith in in the roof mistress right now uh yeah. well-placed faith well-placed faith so yeah yeah, yeah so we we talked so beforehand we talked costumes um and then uh one thing so my first con that i went to my first jordan con that i went to was the post-covid jordan con and even though it was a smaller event it was a lot of the people who had hung out together um during covid and it wasn't necessarily this like i'd hung out with wheel of time fans and my crew was different so like but trying like there was this weird like everyone was just so excited but um the next con i went to was much more open the next jordan con um where it wasn't so much like oh we're like hugging our friends and we're not letting go and like oh i'm accidentally forgetting to acknowledge other people Again, that was my personal experience, that that smaller Jordan Con. Um, but I remember that. And I also remember that a lot of people um, who, like, because at that point, the next Jordan Con, we were content creators. And um, so like, there was already this friend base. Uh, but people like Kelly, who were coming in basically blind, she only knew me. I was very much like, I, I just was very aggressive at introducing her to people and, um, Kelly, but then you started branching out and meeting people on your own because you're a little bit more extroverted than I am in that way. (laughs) I get by a little, a little little bit, just slightly. I know you're not extroverted, Mm -hmm. but like more than I am. So yeah, I I I respond well to What's that? I won't talk to people I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I do respond well if other people talk to me. I, I'm not necessarily an initiator. Um, mm-hmm. but, but I think that's a good tip um, that you can talk to people that you don't know. Like mm-hmm. at JordanCon, everyone's really nice. So, yeah. but, you know. And there were a couple of times that Leia had other things to do with like getting ready for podcast and so I remember I like was in the lunch line one day and I assumed the person started talking to me. I just, I don't really specifically remember, but it was them and their partner. And we just like chatted the whole time while we were waiting in line about making costumes and all of that. And, you know, they were like, oh, we're going to do this thing later. But, you know, I had plans to come watch you guys do your podcast. So uh, I was like, wow. Oh, you know, they you know, invited like, you? Yeah. And I don't even Aww. remember their names, but um, it was just, yeah, really friendly because, you know, I was like, oh, I'm here with my sister, but right now she's doing something else. So they were like, oh, well, you could come do this with us. So it was so nice. I love that. Mm-hmm. And that, that's just how nice people are at Jordan Cotton, so. A hundred percent. I have like a few more stories like that, too. Not that I don't want to make it sound like you abandoned me the whole time, but you were a busy lady. I am a busy. No, go go ahead. Tell the story. It's like... <laughs> Give, give the older sister abandonment impression. I love it. I challenge you. I challenge you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and I also sat in on some other podcast, um, the um, uh, Wheel of Time in Color. Mm-hmm. Is that what I think that's right? Yeah, yeah. Water in Color with Charmaine. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And, and, um, yeah. 
oh gosh, what's her co podcaster's name? Kiba Kuma. It's Kiba. Uh, Kiba. Kiba. Kiba, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, probably the most welcoming conference I've been to, which is amazing because, like, I go to a lot of conferences. Um, and it was just, that was, this is a way more fun one. <laughs> Good. Um, All right. Was last year, yeah, was last year the year that immediately after us was the um, CDC conference? Yes. Was it yes. last year's? Yes. That then they all got COVID? Yes. Yeah. The CDC gave themselves COVID. <laughs> yeah. At their own conference. <laughs> and yet, mm -hmm. Jordan Khan, somehow we managed to avoid that. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. And, and then afterwards, the, they, they were all just like, <laughs> so maybe that's I why love the memes are still the there. Memes. Good job, Rob. good job. Rob. <laughs> Look, I did delete some of the memes that were in there, but some of them I kept, you know, because you know some of them were just, you know, I mean, sometimes you just need to pout a little bit, you know, um, so <laughs> you know, or just you know, be angry, <laughs> or yeah. or flirty. Ooh. Oh. Um, oh, Kevin. So. <laughs> okay. also i i do have a beef with you and kev for your april fool switching um ah. <laughs> i totally meant to when we were talking about this earlier oh, it was oh, so yeah, there was a lot, lot of news on monday of i was like oh my gosh look what the tweeter of chaos is posting so i'm like spamming our private channel <laughs> with all these things and no it was just fucking kev and fucking rob and <laughs> No. So for context, Rude. let me give you context. I need to actually uh, give me a second. I need to let me find Kevin. And I had a chat about this. Um, so unintentionally, both Kevin and I on Monday decided that we would change the name of our, our uh, Twitter accounts, not the handles, but the name to Tweeter of Chaos. And then we would change the picture and the banner to match the official um, Wheel of Time account. And then we started tweeting things. Uh, you're not the only person that got caught out. Um, a lot of people got caught out. So here's what I posted. Um, and uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry to what series in particular for this, because this in particular calls out. Oh what series. yeah, what series was got mad at? I think both of yeah. you started being like, I, I, yeah, I uh, I caught them out badly, um, and they deleted this immediately. <laughs> um but kev managed to catch the screenshot for me um so here's this is this is my original post here and obviously, oh, obviously what's yes. quoted it, yeah so i just tweeted out you know and it says at malkir talk so you can see it like i wasn't i didn't put the wheel of time which is what it actually says in the official nobody looked yeah, at the handle <laughs> i know so i put whether you hate to love or love to hate out handle. we can think of no one better to play a lighter and hashtag the wheel of time please i i looked at their previous introduction post and tried to copy edit it please welcome Shuri to our family. Um, it got very popular. Uh, and what series you say quote tweet is, you know, Twitter of chaos, and you have a long time coming. Please just confirm the casting dev announcements, which do you drop on it first. Welcome, we cannot wait hearts, and then they deleted it immediately. Um <laughs> yeah. Here's the best thing. So Leia's, Leia's posting things in our chat, being like, Oh, look at this, look at that. And I'm like, oh, that was me. I liked <laughs> Without even realizing it. You, you kind of let me do it for a minute. And then you're like, ha, ha, ha. Good. Yeah. Like, Kev's so funny. And I was like, what the f oh. <laughs> Yeah. And then, and then it took me a second to be like, huh, uh. Yeah. I liked. Um, Damn it. Um, one of my co uh, co host from Three Wheeling Podcast, um, Meg, I liked her post where she's asking for more merch and things. She immediately saw a tweet or chaos like she'll post on a notification, screenshot oh, no. it, put it in our Three Wheeling chat, and was like, Does this mean we're getting something today? And as I was <laughs> typing, Oh, sorry, Meg, that's me, she was like, Wait a minute, the handle says it's you, Rob. And I was like, Yeah, sorry, caught you. Um, the actual post Meg, got shared Meg's on Meg's more got... perceptive than I am. It got shared on, on a subreddit. Um, and no it didn't it did yeah so currently today it's received 539 likes five bookmarks um 56 retweets or quotes 29 replies and it's been seen over twenty thousand times <laughs> insane <laughs> yeah so um anyway back to kelly yeah. 
so yeah i did catch people out on monday that was uh, that was a fun day but kevin and i then realized we were doing it together and we decided we were only replied to people with wheel of time gifts for the rest of the day which is what we did <laughs> and it was a lot of fun so yeah apologies to anyone who got caught out by that it was just a you know a bit of you know you weren't the only one <laughs> uh so kelly uh so we we talked about uh some of the pre-planning um i did give you a lot of advice ahead of time so let's walk through how your con went and then like any advice that may or may not have been applicable because again i think i i may have just like verbally vomited on you beforehand and i don't know if you retain if you remember any of the things that i said and i don't remember any things that i said but um, you can also share uh, your advice. You don't only have to share what Leia told you in the past, as well, we have previously established earlier this <laughs> evening. <laughs> I do remember at least one um, because I was a little worried, even though I love Wheel of Time, I've read all the books um and the early ones i read them twice but i was like i didn't knowing the level of leia i'm like what you know can i hang um and you told me oh yeah that doesn't matter at all there are some people there who have never even read the books and i was like what <laughs> and that's totally true and there are people who still love going to the con and are dressing up and they know about them, but they've never read them. Or, you know, you know, maybe at this point the first season was out, so they maybe had seen the show but not read the books, or were just starting, or just were like, never read them, never going to. I just still love coming here. Um, and so that was true. Like it didn't matter at all. And I learned a lot more while I was there. Um, so it didn't take away from the fun at all. Not being at a certain level of, I guess, fanness, fan, fanboyness, yeah, fanboyness, yeah, yeah fangirlness. So yeah. yeah, and it was totally fine. So it, it met me where I was at. That's great. That's great yeah. to hear because I can imagine that that would be really intimidating because you're going to a very specific con. You want to be very specific. Yeah, I'm like, do I need to? Like we read everything Do real I need quick. To study. Fourteen <laughs> books. Yeah. Not good with studying. <laughs> uh random gnomon is coming in with a smidge of advice as well number one advice from random gnomon is cough drops because you will talk so much yeah mm -hmm. i've never used them just hydrate but maybe it's because i generally spend a lot of my time uh, i use fireball as my cough drops so um <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Uh, my my number one rule, uh, and this applies for people who deal with less sleep, or are better with less sleep. Um, I had a rule of bed by two and up by nine. Um, so you can get like a solid sort of six or seven hours in there, depending how quickly you drop off. <clears throat> and, but obviously, if you require more sleep than that, then maybe it's, uh, you know, bed by one up by 10 or something like that sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. Depends how how you handle your sleep. Um, but mm. I, I found I didn't do that last year at Jordan Con, and that, you know, especially on the Wednesday night when we got there early, that kind of uh, screwed me up. Um, so yeah, I do recommend that one. Lumen, who works at Jordan Con, uh, recommends the one, two, three rule, uh, at least one hour a day, at least two meals per day, and at least three hours of sleep per day. So, <laughs> much yeah, Jordan so, you know. Jordan Con provides two meals. So you have two meals um, provided for you on Saturday. Well, Saturday, I think Friday is the start. They don't do. No, I think you get like, Friday, I think, what is, it, what, like is it dinner and then lunch, dinner and then. No, oh, so it's, it's lunch. I think it's lunch and then Sunday or Saturday is breakfast, lunch. And then Sunday is right. breakfast, lunch, I think. Okay. Oh wait, here we go. Lumen's coming Lumen in. Will Friday practice. is one meal. Saturday is three. Sunday is two. There we go. So it's two there averages two per day. There we go. Yeah. So it's Lumen. As of. always, you are our saint. Thank you, Lumen. Thank you, Lumen. And and it's exactly what Kelly was alluding to before when she was talking about the friends she met in line as you're waiting to get into the food line. Yeah. Um. So and and Kelly was how was the food? 
That was good and plentiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> I always worry a lot about going hungry and I didn't need to. <laughs> that is That's good awesome. to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, so you yeah. flew in you flew in thursday we hung out um with a couple of like and that's when i first started to like here's all the people you need to know and kind of like get, gave you a massive immersion <laughs> into <laughs> people on thursday night but then like tell it so after after i like kind of bullied you a little bit thursday night into like here's all the people you need to know in case i leave and da, 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 da. Um, tell us about how, cause, cause you, your con experience was very different than what I did. Um, mm -hmm. um yeah, so. I think, um, so I guess I'm not a late night person. So you made me stay up a little later than normal, but I think I was still in bed by like 1130 on Thursday. Um, and you had, and you were on West Coast time. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. earlier, <laughs> I would never so go to bed at 8 p.m. So it's like eight <laughs> or seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and then, oh my gosh, all the days are going to blur together, but I do like the website was really helpful because they had the whole schedule there. And so I picked and chose what I wanted to do and Leia and I talked ahead of time because there were some things we both wanted to do. Um, oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. The author Gosh. of... No, oh, author. Michael Livingston. Michael Livingston, yeah. No. I really wanted to... Yeah, there is Go also the author... You also got obsessed with... You had started reading... Um... Wesley Chu. Yeah. Yeah, so... Who in... was... <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, so also from the website, the featured author, I think it was, was Wesley Chu, who's a sci-fi author, who I also really like sci-fi books. And so I picked up one of his books at the library, The Lives of Tao, and I loved it. And so I was really excited to go to his talk. And also, he was going to be there signing books and had a new book. So, you know, we, we made all our whole schedule. And um, I had actually planned to go to a lot more of the sessions than I ended up going to just because of, I mean, I guess, Leia, your life is like chaos anyway. <laughs> and so there were a lot of other things going on I didn't expect, but still, I was glad I had the schedule to be like, here are my priorities. And so we went and we got our books. Well, we got books signed by Michael Livingston. Um, Leia, I think you gifted me the um, his book. I did, and we don't have a picture. I, I think Josh has the picture from the signing because he rode down the elevator with us and went to the signing with us. But we do have the picture of us in the elevator going because mm -hmm. you had just come back from a run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I wasn't quite yeah. con ready yet, but I ran, came back. It was time to get the signing, and then I went and got dressed. Um. And then also when with Wesley when Wesley Chu was signing books in the like um, the art like um, the dealers the, gallery the dealers mm -hmm. gallery yeah and um, Leia you came with me and I That's bought so you great. one of his new books and one for myself so we could get them signed and you got a little starstruck for some reason <laughs> and well. We got mutually starstruck because this was the outfit I was wearing. Oh, right. Now I'm remembering how it started. And okay. I hadn't really read. I hadn't read anything, but I'm also like, I just don't deal with like people who are like pseudo famous very well. Like I. Now. Well, yeah. You didn't come out starstruck, but then when he commented on your outfit. <laughs> We're like, but his eyes are not here. His eyes are. I mean, I remember that outfit and I was just like, hi, Leia. <laughs> like, focus, focus, you know, so I understand, you know, I know you. And I was like, I have to focus. Like someone who never knows she's going to be like. Um, in his defense, he was probably sitting at that height. And also, yes, he probably was sitting. As well. He was, was he standing. Sitting? He was standing. Oh, so it wasn't oh. like. 
he, he, he was looking down. <laughs> And, wow, um, it was designed for that. It so. was designed for that. I, I think in the end, maybe you embarrassed him, though, when you <laughs> were... Oh, well, because you were, you were the one talking to him. Because you had read his books, and, like, I was just there to, like, support you. Um, and he, and he, you, you were like, oh, like, if we buy a book, will you sign it? And he was like, I'll sign anything you want. And I just... Like the dumb shit that comes out of my mouth. I said, challenge accepted. And then he just like <laughs> kind of stared at me. And then like I I kind of diffused. I don't remember exactly what I said to diffuse the situation. I think you just <laughs> awkwardly nervously laughed. <laughs> that's beautiful. That that's a ramen rattle. I love it. Yeah. That's <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> so now you challenge this year to do it to hot mic. No, 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 no. Wait, who's hot mic? Uh, Michael, Michael Livingston. Livingston. Dr. Michael Livingston. <laughs> it's it, Dr. Michael Livingston. Otherwise yeah. known, known as April Calendar. Uh, March. He is March Mr. March. March Calendar. So. Yeah. Um, I have a question. I will, I will unflip for a moment. That is Dr. Michael Livingston. He does not have that hair. That is a wig, by the way. Oh, uh, but he put that on to match. Um, does he still have his mustache? Oh yes. <laughs> He's not allowed to shave it at this point. He's not allowed to shave it. It's become a, a, a cornerstone of his imagery. Um, <laughs> yeah, at uh, at at WatCon. Um, which is the uh, the other convention in America that's in uh, July. <clears throat> a couple of times he went to say something on the microphone uh, when he was speaking about things, and the mic, you know, was, you know, as they call it, a hot mic. And he was just like, "Oh, hot mic!" And some of the audience was, like, <laughs> some of the audience was like, "Yeah, you are." <laughs> <laughs> and it just stuck. And the best thing about it was his daughter and his wife were at the convention as well, so mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just and brilliant. his son and his son because like oh and his son that was it, yeah. Andy gave for his son but, yeah yeah like it was uh, just it was fun around so it became a thing like hot mic hot mic hot mic you know as he would walk around and people would say it so yeah, yeah. that's that's where All right, hot mic so comes from. Kelly back to your Friday so Friday so after I bullied you and everything and then Friday kicked off with um I think you went for a run. The like said, everything. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't go to the opening ceremonies because I'm personally not a fan. Like, you, you should go once. Everybody should go once. But also, it's just like, yeah, <laughs> like there's other things we could do. And I think, um, oh, go ahead. No, I just realized you told me to go saying you should go once, but then my phone was broken. So I had to, so the run I went on was to the mall to get my phone fixed. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I was like, what was I doing that morning? Good Love run. That. Yeah. Good reason for a run. Yeah. Um, but you, you, we met up at the Starbucks and introduced you to a couple of people, inclu including the amazing Critter in her Moraine costume from season one. You're just like, oh, I get to look. I was like, I'm excited. I know people. Um, and then it was after that that I had the weirdest experience of my life where in Kelly, where somebody came up to me as we were walking back to the hotel. I was like, you don't know me, but like I'm a fan of your podcast. And I'm like, oh my god, my sister's here. I think it's like she gets to see this. And so that was a surreal experience. Um, in my mind, that happens to you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, we were there for just a little bit and it happened right off. It does not happen all the time. Um, <laughs> you like, not stopped it, on the street? No. Well, it happened to me. It's only happened to me once and it was at Jordan Con and it happened that first year that I was there. So two years ago. Um, and I it wasn't even like someone stopped me and said something i was going up to my room to get something and i looked at my phone while i was up there and someone had tagged me on twitter like oh my god malky talks just walked past me in the lobby and i was too scared to say hello and i was like i was like what what is it what so i replied i was like um please come and say hello to me i'm coming back down to the lobby now i will come find you and i went and found them and said hello and um you know both years that we, we've chatted and hung out both years now um so, so cool. yeah 
yeah, it's uh, it does not happen all the time, and it was very only at Jordan Card. <laughs> yeah, only at Jordan Card. It was very like, huh, really? So yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of cool to because like we a lot of a lot of what we do is we're just like talking to each other on this yeah. show and so we there's so many people who who join us and who are foldies and are part of the show but we only see their screen names so we don't know what they look like or and so um it's so well, it's yeah. so exciting to like be able to like put a face to a name and like yeah. get to like bond with people that we've like connected with you know through doing this and and all our fandom and stuff together it's mm. it's it's the best it's the best getting to like meet meet people in person who you've just like enjoyed spending so much time with over the last few years yeah and there's definitely like people who like not to say like the only people who are foldies are the ones that join us live like there are people who watch us afterwards um yeah and then like lurk in the discords and they they you know it or they'll comment in the discords and it's like but but again like they're not necessarily uh like i like I'm totally blanking on her name, Tiva. Um, Tiva, yeah, it was Tiva. Like, I remember her name being Angel because her husband was like, "We're gonna get a shot." And I was like, "I love angels in me," and they're like, "She's like, oh, that's perfect because that's like her name." And da, da, da. Anyways, like, I remember the whole story, but <laughs> Tiva, um, yeah. So, it, anyways, it was really cool. That was, but that is a non-typical first-time experience. It's only when your sister is a very famous podcaster. Okay. <laughs> Humble brag, please. I mean, there is only one roof mistress of Purple Rocks Hold, so. <laughs> There's only one roof mistress anywhere. Like, roof mistress is the only thing I can do is, like, username or whatever. And that, like, nobody has. <laughs> it's the only thing that's universal. I am the oh. one and the only roof mistress. Anyways, Kelly. So we're talking about Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> How much does she do this, Kelly, normally? Like, how often are you talking and she just, like, hops in and takes over? It's her number one quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, this, we this love you, Leia. a very entertaining oh. day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Kelly, do you have any more first-timer tips that you would like to share by yourself from your own mouth? <laughs> well, the next one I, <laughs> the next one I had planned, I actually just was inspired by someone that they said in the comments, so not necessarily from my own mouth. Um, <laughs> the garden in the back is awesome, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it was. I think during one of the times when my sister abandoned me, I also was a little bit like overloaded with people time, and that introverted side of me wanted a little break. So I grabbed the book I was reading and I went and there's so many like nooks and crannies in there. And I'm um, just, you know, for like an hour sat and read my book and kind of charged up for the next social thing. So I think, you know, I guess as all, on top of that, you take the time you need for yourself at whatever level you're at. But if you need some like garden alone time, it's not too bad there. It's a beautiful space. It is really lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely great places that you can like, in, uh, besides your room, step away, yeah, recharge, yeah. and whatever, in whatever environment recharges you, whether it's working out or going swimming or going and like sitting in the sun, getting some sun on you, <laughs> all of that is great. Yeah. Um, yeah I'll take so, Alex. Says the garden is where I psyched myself up before I met anybody. So. I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Kel, I think another like we went to the the dealers hall a couple of times, and um, you actually had some interaction with artists there. Yeah, um, and that I didn't, I wasn't prepared for. I didn't think you had mentioned it, but we, we didn't really. I didn't really realize what it was, and you were like, "No, we got to go in there." And then I was so obsessed with some of these artists, and they have an auction. And so you can actually get a pretty screaming deal on some really good art. And it's just, it's actually upstairs. I wish I had brought it down. Um, I got two paintings. Text Tom, um, text Tom. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Painting delivery, please. 
Um, Look, one time Mel useful. was requesting alcohol and stabby items, and suddenly they just appeared, like handed to her from off screen. So you know, it's, it's, it. a, yeah. it's yeah. really yeah. useful. It's really yeah. useful to have a second pair of hands in there <laughs> in your house. I really like it a lot. <laughs> Oh, he actually texted me. me asking if I needed anything. Oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yes, keep I do. Them around. Right. <laughs> keep, keep, that, keep that one around. That's, uh, that's, yeah, keep them. That's, that's, we like that. Rum and rattles. Tom, Tom's good. Um, I think the guy shine that she said earlier is who Tom would give the handshake to because Tom's an excellent uh, baker. Nice. Yeah. He's like, a good baker. Um, but also, um, like, I tried to bully him into coming to Jordan Con, mm -hmm. and and he just like having an amazing partner. He was just like, no, but I want Kelly to have an amazing experience there. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, even yeah, though he loves, he, he... Sorry. he has read all the books too. Nice. He has read all the books. We talk about it, um, but it's just not a scene. It's not everybody's scene. So yeah, that's fair. Uh, mm -hmm. Lumen's just thrown in chat. If you're anxious about not knowing folks, volunteering is a great way to to meet people. Mm -hmm. um, Mel, you've volunteered in the past, haven't you? I do. I, I have volunteered for safety every year. I've been on Jordan Con so I can guard some stuff, <laughs> and I always like put on my IEL costume and guard something. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's pretty funny because you know you you get to like I, like uh, the first year I was guarding like a back door entrance and I got to tell people not to go in that way. And then the second year they put me at the front, so I got to like say hi to literally everybody who was coming in the front door. So and like see everybody's costumes and like yeah, it was a great way to like get to know everybody. And uh, yeah, and you get a really cool vest. So you're yes. <laughs> Very pretty vest. Yes. <laughs> Not good for sneaking, but otherwise excellent. <gasps> oh. Here's that ramen. Can you ramen, ramen. rattle now? <laughs> ramen rattle. Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> He's rubbing his face. On my monitor, on my laptop screen. Don't eat my food. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, I love. I the, think the he way. wants me to be done. This is, <laughs> he's rubbing his face. Do, do we have any other things we want to cover, or should we should we start to wrap it up? <laughs> oh um, <my> stop. <laughs> the, Just... the last thing I was going to ask is, um, you, Kelly, we touched on it before. Is like. I'm very much like I go hard at the cons and um like but you you wanted your time and so uh Newman Garden mentioned the outdoor spaces but we're, we're, how, how did you feel about somebody who also is uh, <laughs> using their shit <laughs> what is that cat doing <laughs> <laughs> the cat to a complete takeover. <laughs> um, just, just, what? So, uh, <laughs> well, I, I think your partner just came in and gave you the stuff, so we'll show the art. But also, the question was, um, like again, as somebody who like needs a lot more recharge time than I do, um, the, how did you feel as a newcomer like were you did you feel pressured to hang out a lot did you like what was your experience with that if if you needed to go back to your room if you wanted to go to bed early if you wanted to go for a run if you wanted to go see friends that were there like what what was your experience like that um well other than being peer pressured by my sister no just kidding <laughs> Um, Which is probably true. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's very much a choose your own adventure. I think you there's tons of different kinds of <laughs> kinds of things you can get involved with, and um, 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh I'm my god. I am literally. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cat <laughs> segment of the show. Brought to you by Ramen, the Destructo Kitty. Ramen, <laughs> just Ramen Kitty. Just, just determined to get all the attention from Mel right now. Ramen's like, you have streamed enough, bitch. Come back <laughs> and get all your attention. It's like, how dare you not focus on me right now? <laughs> He's using the entire, like the entirety of everything with this laptop as a scratching post for his his cheeks. So that's why everything gets. That is this hilarious. This is insane. Uh, it's insane. You're insane. Oh, that's great. Can't stop that. Yeah, ramen. Sorry, to I'm very sorry. <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, I'm so, so sorry. So we were we were talking. Kelly, Kelly was talking about her experience about like whether she felt pressured into things or like asked her same uh, yes. question. No, yeah, um, you know it's a little overwhelming. I think just because there are so many things going on, but um, you know that's not too surprising. It's a lot, you know. Robert Jordan fans have taken over a hotel conference center. Like, what are you gonna expect? But um, it, uh, yeah, I think you can take it at your own pace. And there's a lot of good information to help you figure out what you want to do, and a lot of spaces to tuck away if you need a time or go get a drink at the hotel bar, or which I also maybe did. <laughs> Love that. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Raman is causing chaos in other houses now. Um, Altex Alice's Orange Kitty saw that and decided that it was time to sit in front of the TV. Um, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, apparently, mm -hmm. there is just cat carnage on the go everywhere right now. So, <laughs> I love catching. this. Yeah. It's, it is catching. This is beautiful. So, mm -hmm. um, um, well, my <laughs> wonderful partner responded to my request and brought Yay, out the Tom paintings i got so um, i don't actually remember the name of the artist leia do you i have her card but i don't remember the name of i think her first name was amy actually was, yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> your first name was amy but i don't remember yeah oh, wow. and this one came with the frame that's, that's beautiful. That's so cool. And she also bid for this crazy octopus one um, that she didn't get. Oh. Yeah. Which probably, you know, three would have been. <laughs> that's fair. Well, and, that. but here's, here's the thing, <laughs> Ed, I love my sister. <laughs> I love my sister so much. Um, if you bid on the art, uh, you need to either be there on the day that it concludes or have a designated person, which was me. Um, cause I actually had one of our friends come through and was like, you know, your sister won like a whole bunch of art. I was like, what? <laughs> so went and picked it up, like stood in the, it was just like, it, it was not a problem at all. But I was just like, I didn't know I needed to go look for that stuff. <laughs> cause I, yeah. hell, I don't even know if you thought you would actually win it, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I you you were like, I'm driving, I have room. <laughs> Yeah, because you blew up Sunday morning because um, mm -hmm. you had to get back to work on Monday um, yeah. and wanted to make sure that you had time to decompress. Because that was one thing that I said, like, you do need time to decompress after this convention. Oh, yeah. It, it's dra uh, like, draining sounds negative, so I don't want to say that. But it's, um, you know, it's busy and it's yeah. stimulating. And so you need some rest afterward. Yeah. Even if you take yeah. time out to sort of recharge mm -hmm. your battery, you're still on the go for 72 hours, you know, yeah. and that's, yeah. and that's if you show up Friday to Sunday, if you're there Wednesday or Thursday and stay till Monday, that's even longer. So yeah, you need that. Yeah. You need, you need uh, some non people time just to like really just like reset it's it's like when we do spear, uh fear the spear and they're like right now we need a cleansing butt rock so yeah. you know, it's, it's the same principle you need your own version of a cleansing uh cleansing butt rock so because i've yeah. said it there you go <laughs> awesome any final thoughts from me mm -hmm. hmm. um no <laughs> Love that. I was going to try to come up with something and 
I got Have nothing. you tried to convince uh, your partner to go with you again? No, it's, I don't think that would be, it's just not his jam. Yeah. Well, he does like a renaissance festival. I was okay. going to say, yes, he wants to do a renaissance festival. Okay. Yeah. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. But I think more with like just that just is kind of like part of Jordan God is a bit like a Renaissance festival. So I think yeah. he'd enjoy that. But I don't think he's going to want to go to the talks. And he also doesn't like to be inside all day. Right. So even though there is the garden, I feel like, you know, he has a desk job. So he would rather like go be out and about more. That's just well, his and yeah, he's very much a crafter. So like he's a gardener, he's a crafter. Like I think that's his aspect of, that he ties to Renaissance festivals is that mm -hmm. he wants to go see, he would enjoy the art space, but that's, yeah. you know, you could do that in a couple hours and mm -hmm. so, and he's, he's not going to want to sit in the talks. So he's like, yeah, I could talk to you and your sister about the talks. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And he's not as much of a reader. Like when we go to the library, we go to our different sections and he comes back with a book that's like how to build fences. And that's what he will read at night before we go to bed. I'm like, Fun. I knew this before I married you. This would have been a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> but now he brings you art while you're on live streams. So, you know, yeah, that's, that's true. Sounds like so, swing, swings and swings and roundabouts. So it balances that balances. It does. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's uh, been a real pleasure having you today. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. I've been looking thank forward to it. And... Mm -hmm. No, it's been great fun. Really, really enjoyed it. And uh, it's fun seeing Leia trying to, like, you know, be roof mistress, but also, like, big sister. And, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. very very entertaining when it's I, just it's like, very yeah, when, when she's there, just like, you know, like, ah, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was funny uh folks we are back next week out we? we're not taking next week off nope no not yet Just <laughs> like, unless unless the lord of chaos starts ruling again we're yes. gonna be on next week so as far as where we will see you all next week folks please like the video please subscribe to the channel please comment below with your advice for jordan con or any convention actually if you have advice from various conventions throw it in there in the comment section afterwards and um, until next time, as we like to say around here, may you always find love, water, and shade. Bye. Bye. Bye.